So, Michael, who wins this one? I got to go with the Kansas City Chiefs. And, and while it's becoming super hard to bet against Patrick Mahomes on any given Sunday, Monday, or Thursday, I do like the fact that Drew is back in the lineup and, and he can get start to get his feet wet again and, and get ready for a, for a playoff run. And this could be a Super Bowl matchup, which is why I think the Kansas City Chiefs would be up for this game. But, you know, the deciding factor is Patrick Mahomes and, and what he's able to do week in and week out. It always looks the same. He's getting better and better. You know, more understanding of what Andy Reid is asking of him to do within the framework of the offense. But, you know, when, when I factor in everything, I, I think it's going to come down to, you know, the outside, the receivers versus the corners, uh, Kansas City Chiefs receivers versus the New Orleans State's corners and how that matchup goes in terms of, you know, what they bring to the table. But stopping Travis Kelsey is going to be the key. He's, he's the X factor. He, he's the, the guy on the Kansas City Chiefs offense who changed the dynamic of what Andy Reid can do every week. And it's just evidence. So, you know, until you can stop that and shut it down and nobody has been able to, I think the Kansas City Chiefs win this game. I think Drew comes back. He plays well, but ultimately he, he gets ready uh, for the up and coming weeks with this game right here. So, you know, get a chance to get his feet wet, get back out there. Patrick Mahomes, another victory for him. The Saints are taking a big chance with this one, Skip. They realize now if Drew re injured those ribs, it's over. What he came back for is over. Uh, he had 11 broken ribs a month ago, I think, if I'm not mistaken, a month ago. You ever heard of anybody having 11? No, that's a, car, Skip, that's a car crash. Yeah. And if you look at the hit that he took, Skip, that hit wasn't. Mm -hmm. I've seen guys get hit twice as hard as what Drew get, got. Agreed. And they pop right up. Drew, and as you get older, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. Them licks hurt a little bit more back as we got older. Yes, sir. <laughs> you didn't pop up as quick. I'm going to take the Chiefs also. And I was like, uh, if I look at this, I'm not so sure the Chiefs don't have the three best players on the field. Now, even, even with Drew coming back, it's hard to say we know Mahomes is the best. Kelsey and Tyreek, now Mike Evans, and uh, Mike Evans, Mike Thomas, he hadn't practiced, but Mike, he's going to play. I assume, but he's got an ankle issue. Yeah, yeah, but he's going to play. He'll, he'll be ready to go. The thing is, for me, Kansas City gets off the bus with 30. Okay, so that's that's the line we start at, Skip. Can he get to 30? Because he's going he can get to like this. And so I believe that he does. Now, I think the game plan that Dennis Allen had last week will probably work better because Mahomes is not looking to just jump out the window and run like uh, uh, Jalen Hurts. Also, Swartz, the right tackle, who's a very good right tackle, mm -hmm. who's been on the IR, is, he's eligible to return. Yep. Mike Rimmers has a back injury. He does. If these two guys don't start, mm -hmm. do you really want your right, to, your third string right tackle dealing with Cam Jordan? Because that's what he would be up against. I'm going to assume Swartz or Rimmers are going to start. Mm -hmm. With that being said, I'm going to take a – I think it will be a high-scoring game, Skip. I'm going to go 35. I'll go 35-30, mm. uh, Kansas City. Okay. I believe that the New Orleans defense is suddenly getting underrated because of what Jalen Hurts did to it. Jalen Hurts took it by surprise. They were not ready for Jalen Hurts because I, I've tried to explain to you, he doesn't look as fast on tape as he plays. He runs so effortlessly that on tape, he doesn't look like he's moving as rapidly as he is in real time on a real football field. So they were not ready. They got blindsided by the poise and the playmaking of Jalen Hurts. Mm -hmm. So, again, were they looking ahead? Sure, they were looking ahead. They, they thought this would be a, pretty much a walk in the park with a rookie quarterback mm -hmm. thrown into this fire that we've started and burned for the last four weeks because they were leading the league in sacks over the previous month. Mm -hmm. So here they come home, and I, I don't think they like hearing the talk about we're in big trouble because these guys are coming to town. I will give you those are the three best players on the field. Michael Thomas may have something to say about yes. that. But I'll take Tyreek and Kelsey over Michael Thomas, even <laughs> though he was the offensive player of the year yes. last year in the National Football League. But I still say this is a top five defense, and I still say those two New Orleans corners are good enough to at least hold their own. And again, I, I don't know which one's going to take Tyreek. I don't know if they're going to mix and match. You, you need two people on Tyreek <laughs> at all times, obviously. But the point is that I believe that 
we, look, Taysom Hill, I know Michael likes Taysom Hill. We've talked about it. I like Taysom Hill. I thought he played pretty to very well over the last four weeks. But he could be even better in that gadget role, yes. which I think will expand even more now yes. that, that he's gotten his feet wetter and wetter and right. played a lot of starting quarterback. Mm -hmm. So the combination, I think you're going to see a whole lot of Taysom Hill. Right. And Drew will go split out wide or he'll just, Drew doesn't mind, he just comes out of the right. game sometimes. Right. So it's going to be a combination at quarterback. And I believe it's a do or die for New Orleans, who's had a great year, to say we're going to take a stand at home. I think they will be able to hold Mahomes to 27 and, and win 30 to 27 Good. because last seen at Miami, Patrick Mahomes was throwing three interceptions and taking a minus 30-yard sack where Good. he just ran backwards and backwards and backwards and whoops, they got me. And, 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 and Miami defense isn't a slouch. No, and he went got 30. Slouch. He got 33 against them. And he even did. after three picks, mm -hmm. he still threw four. They almost had 500 yards of offense, mm -hmm. Kip. Okay. That just lets you know what he's... I think New Orleans' defense is better than Miami's. As good as Miami's has been, as solid as it's been, I believe New you Orleans believe, is you better. You believe their corners are better? Yep, I do. You do? You think... I think in, in just in experience. No, big I, game I'm, experience. I'm taking Howard and, and Jones okay, over well, Jack Rabbit and... Uh, I don't, I don't love Byron Jones, but you know why. He, he let me down <laughs> no, way you too many times. <laughs> I just don't I'll love him. I'll tell you it. what. If, if the mm -hmm. Saints win this game, what it's going to do for their team morale, Oof. the rest of the NFC better look out because if they win this game, we know what the New Orleans Saints have went been through the last two, two or three years. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been good. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's, good point. It's a lot of, there's been a lot of setbacks, and they need to get back. They need to get right. So if they win this game, what it's going to do for their confidence, it's going to shake up the NFC. It's going to do a lot for them moving forward and, and, and not not good for teams like Seattle and, and Green Bay who they'll have to face. Well, Green Bay said we already put so, Fuss in you. Know, this is Green Bay put Fuss in the with Drew healthy too. Mm. In the dome. You remember I'm that, saying, Mike? This this might this might be it. This might be it for Drew. And I know he's gonna go out with a bang and, and this is the time that they're gonna tighten it up and things are gonna be official for the New Orleans Saints. So look out if they win this game, uh we got something in the NFC with the New Orleans Saints. Mm. Maybe skip if it was, if we're in normal circumstances, 70,000 screaming no, in the I dome. Got, it hurts. But it, now it, they're no, down. It takes they, a lot out of it. It was at 6,000. Now they're down to 3,000. That's spread out. So it doesn't have the it, same it, impact because I can hear everything. I can hear all my checks. I can hear everything. I ain't got to use no hand signals. No. Nope. Because 3,000 in a building that big, that, that ain't nothing. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, bottom line, can New Orleans run the ball on Kansas City? That, we gotta, that, that's, uh, that's that seems it. to be, yeah. Can they? To be determined. Yes. Mm -hmm. well, I think they can, and they will, which will control the clock. You better control it. Yep. But Mahomes don't need much time. Mm. He, 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 no, he can throw those interceptions don't, don't quickly. Do, don't do that, Skip. Boom, 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 boom. Just like what oh, about you? another interception. Skip, don't do that. Mm. The man's about to have 5,040 <laughs> he in his He's fourth year very start. Good. In his third year starting. Yep. That's ridiculous. And I want to congratulate you early so I can jinx you that these are your two <laughs> Super Bowl picks and they're playing each <laughs> other <laughs> and you're you're opting for my homeboy. Why, why you got it? Why you got to oh, look. Congratulations. I you picked the two Super Bowl teams early. Way to go. I mean, at the beginning of the year, mm. you took you took the Ravens. You took I Tampa did. Bay. I did. Okay. And it ain't over. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So... I congratulate you and I <laughs> jinx you at the same time. I'll take Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.